Well, Unison's concerns about the government's proposals for employee-owned mutuals uh, within uh, public services um, are fairly substantial, actually. I mean, first of all, we have had a lot of experience, generally, of people trying to set up co-ops. Um, certainly under the GLC, there was a lot of support given to people who wanted to set up co-ops. And what we know about that experience is, first of all, that it's very, very time intensive. Secondly, that people need a lot of support to get them going, that they have to come from below, that, that you can't impose them from above as an alternative to standard public services. The impetus for them has to come from the people who are going to be part of them. And that certainly doesn't seem to be the case in these proposals from government. Um, what we also know is that they actually cost quite a lot of money to set up and they require a lot of ongoing support. Now, with the um, extent and depth of cuts proposed by government, uh, we feel that that support and that input is not going to be there. Well, we're very concerned that privatisation has significantly um, depressed paying conditions of public service workers and we're very concerned that mutuals could have the same effect. Um, in particular, uh, we would want to ensure that pension provision uh, was carried over into mutuals and from what the government has said so far, there are very big question marks over the two-tier workforce protection um, for public service workers. And I guess um, from what we know about the government and what we know about certainly local government in England is that um, all guns are blazing uh, to, protect, uh, to push down paying conditions, to cut them um, as much as possible. So we would assume that the push for mutuals is yet another way of trying to get more for less really. I think it's very, very clear that women are going to be disproportionately affected by the government spending cuts, uh, both as users of services and as, of course, uh, the vast bulk of public sector and public service workers. Um, women are three quarters of the workforce in local government and the NHS and other areas of the public sector. So it's inevitable that the cuts are disproportionately going to impact um, on women's jobs on women's paying conditions. But what we also know is that within society, within the household, women are generally responsible for keeping families on track, whether it's through the NHS, through education, through leisure, play. Um, and they're going to be the ones, I think, who are going to be asked to bear the brunt of the cuts within the household and within communities. I don't think anybody should be under any illusions about what this government is doing. I think what we're seeing is a smash and grab raid on public services and the welfare state, which is driven by ideology. Of course, the deficit has to be addressed, but um, the deficit can be addressed um, in a much slower way, in a much more considered way. It can be addressed in a way which means that the government assesses the impact of what it's doing before it does it. And all the indications are that that is not happening. This is not a measure designed to deal with the deficit. Uh, in a sense, the financial crisis, I think, has been manna from heaven for the, the Conservatives and now the coalition government because it's given them a cover for what they wanted to do anyway. Uh, economically, it makes no sense. The public sector can borrow cheaply, much more cheaply than the private sector, and there was no need at all um, to uh, attack the deficit on the scale that's being done in such a short space of time.